Welcome to Stories I Didn't Tell Last Sunday. I'm Doug McAllister for Journey Fellowship Church. And today I want to tell you a story about a songwriter. I know you probably have heard the name Towns Van Zant, but I want to tell you a little bit about his life. Towns died at the very early age of 52. And in a little cemetery in Tarrant County, Texas, is a family plot of the Van Zants. And that's where John Towns Van Zant is buried. He was one of the most prolific songwriters of the 20th century. He influenced singers and songwriters and bands around the world, across North America and Europe in particular. He influenced people from Bob Dylan to Steve Earle, from Willie Nelson to the Rolling Stones. You probably have heard the number one song from the 80s by Willie Nelson and Merle Haggard called Poncho and Lefty. Well, that's one of Towns Van Zandt's songs. Let me tell you a little bit about the man, the songwriter, Towns Van Zandt. There's a quote from Towns that I think kind of captures the spirit of his life. And this is what he said. I was tapped on the shoulder and told to write these songs. I never intended to be a success. I think when a person understands their purpose in life, things just get natural and real for them. And he lived his life just like he never intended to be a success. Even when his songs went to number one and people from around the world were calling and asking him to write songs for them, it never changed his lifestyle. In fact, he became more of a recluse. He lived in the mountains in a cabin without water or power. He lived uh, in the city in rundown old shacks. And unfortunately, he drank his life away. He died when he was only 52 years old from a lifetime of abuse of alcohol and heroin. What a tragic way for such a gifted songwriter to leave the earth. But that's exactly what I want to hone in on today about the life of Towns Van Zandt. One writer said this about him, it's like he lived his life to destroy himself so that the music could get out of his soul. It's an interesting take on a human life. And it's kind of a twisted view of what Jesus said, that we have to give our life in order to find our life. And maybe that is what drives all of us as human beings, that we know that what's in us has to come out and how we find a way to express that really determines the way that we live our life. And Towns Van Zandt literally drank himself to death. And he wasn't, when he wasn't drinking, he was doing heroin and all kinds of other drugs and products that brought him to an early grave. But in the process of that, something amazing happened, and it shows you the value of every human being, that God put inside of each one of us value and worth that is intrinsic to us, and it's just a gift from the Creator. And how we live our life determines what that gift leaves as an impact to the world. Now, truly, Towns had a huge impact on the world but imagine the impact he could have had if he had lived his life in the way that God had designed him. And instead of destroying himself to get the music out of his soul, what if he gave his life for the sake of Christ and for the sake of God's plan for his life? He did talk of the Lord often. In one of his quotes, he said, What I do is between me and the Lord. And the state of grace that I live in determines the state of grace that the people that listen to me find. And it's an interesting take on the human experience because our walk with the Lord is personal. In fact, that's what makes it valuable because it's one-on-one -on -one between you and the Lord. But we live out the context of our life in relationships, in the corporate setting of the body of Christ. And that may have been 
the missing element in town's life because he lived alone for the most part. He would go on to record eight albums and to write many songs and to influence a generation of songwriters and singers and to leave behind a legacy of inspirational poetry that would literally shape the genres of country music and blues and, and others around the globe. He said there's only two kinds of music, blues and zippity doo da. Well, he was a blues writer, no doubt. He said, I don't know why I write lonesome songs. They're all kind of depressing. He said, but maybe that's just who I am and maybe I'm just normal. I think maybe Towns was on to something there. We all tend to be a bit melancholy and fight through our own depression and maybe find a way through our own blues. It, whether it's songwriting or bridge building or skydiving, everybody's looking for an outlet to express their humanity. Well, in that little cemetery in Tarrant County, Texas, lies a little tombstone that marks the life of a single man, a songwriter, a singer, a man who destroyed himself to get the music out. But I wanted to use his story today as an inspirational story, that inside of you there, there are gifts and talents and value and worth that was placed there by the creator of the universe. And you do not have to destroy yourself to get it out. Maybe what Jesus said is true, that if we give our life for his sake, we will find our lives. But in the end, it is the grace of God. It is the grace of God on our life that we find a way to display the gift that God sowed into our soul at the moment of our conception and to leave behind a mark, a legacy for others to be able to benefit from. For it's the value that we do for others that truly leaves a purpose for our lives here on the earth. Today we're talking about Towns Van Zandt, born May 7th, 1944, died January 1st, 1997, buried in a little family plot in Tarrant County, Texas, an iconic songwriter, a singer, a producer of albums, a traveler of the world, and a man in search of the grace of God. Let me wrap it up today by telling you this, that whatever gift lies inside of you, the world is waiting for it. And you don't have to destroy yourself to get it out. But maybe the call of Jesus is the same on all of us, that if we will take up our cross daily and follow him, the life that God places within us will bring the gifts out to benefit all those around us. So today we remember the life of Towns Van Zandt to remind us of the value and worth of every person and to remind you today that God has put you on this earth for a reason, for a call, with a gift to do his work and to benefit those around you. Well, that's the story I didn't get to tell last Sunday. There's a whole list of stories here on the podcast. I hope you'll go back and listen to some. Join us here each week. We tell a new story every week here on Stories I Didn't Tell last Sunday. I'm Doug McAllister for Journey Fellowship Church. Check us out on the web. We're at jf.church. Uh, we're also, uh, you can download our app. It's absolutely free from your app store. Type in Journey Fellowship Church in the search, in the search bar. Download it to your smart device. It's packed full of resources to help you in your faith. Not only the stories I didn't tell last Sunday podcast, but there's uh, archives of our messages here from Journey Fellowship Church. There's other resources, places to get connected, get involved, to help you grow in your faith. And if you live nearby Slidell, Louisiana, come visit us any Sunday right here in Slidell. You can find driving directions and service times at at jf.church or on the Journey app. For Journey Fellowship Church, I'm Doug McAllister, and this has been Stories I Didn't Tell Last Sunday.